Yeah, Sean. I heard once that um, of all like of all the addictions, gambling addicts have the highest suicide rate. Wow. Um, if you could believe it, like something crazy, like twenty five. Of, because like, that's real. Yeah. When they yeah. lose, they got to get it back. Part, part, and part of that whole vicious cycle is that they have to bet enough yeah. to get the thrill, but they're also risking enough where the, they'll end up with zero you know, at the end of the night. Yeah, and the moment they get yeah. it, let's say they win a million, Satan tell them, you know what, you got a million dollars. Play half of that back and then <laughs> another million. And the thrill is on. You're absolutely right, man. The thrill is on. This makes sense about the thrills? Yes. Do y'all see the thrill in your life that you always seeking? Oh, good. Yes, ma'am. I just want to say what I've noticed is like when I'm like chasing all these like cheap thrills, I'm always looking for like something more. And yes. More, so that was a good like analogy. Like, I need yeah. more and more. For me, it's more so like food. And then my stomach hurts. And the next thing, <laughs> I'm eating it again for like the whole every day that week. Yeah. Absolutely. Because you're in a cave, and you're going around in this cave, and Satan is telling you this and that. He can be one. You need more. You need this thrill. That one didn't work. You need them to try this. And you try it, and it doesn't work. There are people who get married more than once because they think the next one is better. <laughs> and it's the same. But Satan tells them that it's better. And they believe. The answers are not in the thoughts. The answers are in the not thinking. You want to become a non-thinker. No more thinking. You want an empty glass. Except for practical thoughts. You write music, you go, whatever you do, right? And you need that to function in a physical way on the earth. But you want to become a non-thinker. The world has made us become thinkers. You got to be this, you got to be that, you got to be this, you got you to have that, you got to have this. These women are buying big butts. <laughs> Who convinced them of that? I heard that, some, I asked some woman at the gym, she said, Kim Kardashian made the women buy big butts. And they look just as stupid with those big butts. They really look dumb because... You can tell that's a bought butt. That's not real. God didn't make that butt. God didn't make that one. <laughs> and then they walk by all sticking out behind. And when they get past you, they look around and see if you're looking. <laughs> and if you didn't look, they yell at you. <laughs> right. Ladies, stop it. You have a natural body given to you by God. Don't compare it to anyone else. Take care of your own body and live your own body life. And don't compare. If you don't compare, then there would be nothing to worry about. If you don't think, wow, she look beautiful, I don't. The moment you do that, you're setting yourself up. And that's on the devil, too. Appreciate yourself. Appreciate it. They are making money off y'all. And then 10 years from now, 20 years, you got cancer. Mm. <laughs> or sagging. The, the butt blew open. You know how you used to make those false breath things? And all the women were find, buying the breast thing, and then they started to salt, or whatever they put in there, and started to come out. Now the women got breast cancer. Silicone. Yeah, whatever they call it. They bought them because someone said, buy them, you look better. You look fine as you are. You really, really do. To look natural is to look fine. Somebody will like it. And don't even do it because somebody likes it. You do it because that's the way it is. People. That's from God. Don't do it just to make a man like you or not like you. If the man don't like you because he see you and he like you, then let him go. You don't want that. That's not real love. Amazing, huh? Amazing. So I saw some. Go ahead. Did I come to oh, you? Oh. Did you finish her? Yeah, I just want to say one more thing about the um, the prayer is like to not expect anything out of it. Oh yeah. You know, to not say in five minutes I'm going to feel this way or in thirty minutes I'm going to feel this way. And to also um, not, yeah, just to not have any, any expectations in any way. Because Satan has set you up by giving you an expectation about the prayer. Have no expectation about the prayer. Just do it and watch. Do it and watch. Because if you don't have an expectation, then there's nothing to be disappointed by when you don't get what he said you could get. Just do it. Cut out the expectation and just live life, period. 
expect nothing from no, no one. And just live your life. And it'll all work out just fine. All right? Um, yes, Raymond. Jesse, are you familiar with this say, and say that the price of freedom is eternal vigilance? No, but it sounds good. <laughs> it really when, I, sound when I hear that, I, uh, I must say, I always believe I have to take vigil, uh, be aware, be vigilant of how I react to, li uh, to life and the pressure. In other words, be aware of my own, uh, own desire to have thrills. All you have to do is be aware of thoughts, letting them go, then the thrill will disappear too. When you see this, oh, yes. I'm in my head. I see this. I see that. But don't call it, don't judge it or anything. The real you are not seeking thrills. It's the fake you that are seeking the thrills. This ego trip thing is really not you. That makes sense? Yes. Yeah. It's not you. And God knows it's not you. Christ knew it wasn't you. He knew it was the devil. That's why he got you back from the devil. And the devil is weak. The devil has no power. The devil is a coward. That's why the devil used thrill to attack and groups to attack and all that. He can't stand alone. He cannot stand alone. So have no expectation from the prayer. Just do it and watch. Become a living being and watch. 